going over old notes that I've had on uh, Facebook. I'm trying to convert them over from notes on Facebook into video form because I'm wanting to delete them and get them off of Facebook. So I am going through and I'm just basically documenting them with video. Now before I get started I also want to apologize for the bad audio that I've been having and I want to tell everybody that I am trying to work on them. I uh, went into OBS and started checking out the filters that they have on it so that I could get rid of some of the background noise. <laughs> if you notice, I don't know if you can notice it yet because I haven't heard the video but like the sound of the air conditioner and stuff like that I'm working on getting that to where it doesn't show up on the background basically I'm you know buckling down and trying to get more serious about uh, taking care of my video and my audio so with that being said I will get on with my reading and today's reading is uh, about hybrid speciation I've already done a reading about that previously but it was a different note that I had and it wasn't really all that great when it came to being able to hear it so I'm going to give this one another shot and see how it turns out. Um, where are we? Okay, hybrid speciation. I did, or I uh, made this note on September the 17th, 2013. <laughs> hybrid speciation is a form of speciation wherein hybridization between two different closely related species leads to a new species reproductively isolated from the parent species from the 1940s reproductive isolation between hybrids and their parents was thought to be particularly difficult to achieve and thus hybrid species were thought to be extremely rare with DNA analysis becoming more accessible in the 1990s, hybrid speciation has been shown to be a fairly common phenomenon, particularly in plants. Hybrid speciation ecology. A hybrid may be a distinct trait, a phenotype. The phenotype may in very rare cases be better fitted to the local environment than the parental lineage and as such 
natural selection may favor these individuals. If reproductive isolation subsequently is achieved, it will lead to a separate species. The reproductive isolation may be genetic, ecological, behavioral, or spatial, or a combination of these. If reproductive isolation fails to establish, the hybrid population may breed back and finally merge with either or both parent species. This will lead to an influx of foreign genes in the parent population, a situation called an introgression. Introgression is a source of genetic variation and can in itself facilitate speciation. There is evidence that Integration is a ubiquitous phenomena in plants, animals, and even humans, in which it may have introduced the macrocephalon D allele from a few cases of hybridization between early modern humans and Neanderthals. Ecology constraints to hybrid speciation. For a hybrid form to persist, it will generally have to be able to exploit the available resources better than either parent species, which, in m most cases, it will have to compete with. While grizzly bears and polar bears may have offspring a grizzly polar bear hybrid will likely be less suited in either of the eco eco ecological roles than the parents themselves. Although the hybrid is fertile, this poor adaptation would prevent the establishment of a permanent population. Likewise, lions and tigers have historically overlapped in a small portion of their range in Gur National Forest in India and can theoretically and can theoretically produce wild hybrid hybrids ligers which are a cross between a male lion and a female tiger and tigons which are a cross between a male tiger and a female lion. However, tigers and lions have thus far only hybrid, hy, hybridized in captivity. In both ligers and tigons, the females are fertile and the males are sterile. One of these hybrids, the tigon, carries growth inhibitor genes from both parents and thus is smaller than either parent species and might in the wild come into competition with smaller carn carnivores, e.g. the leopard. The other hybrid, the liger, ends up larger than either of its parents, about a thousand pounds, 450 kilograms, fully grown. No tiger-lion hybrids are known from the wild, particularly because each species is generally confined to geographically separate ranges. Tigers mainly live in Asia, lions mainly live in Africa, except for the previously mentioned overlap of ranges in India. Some situations may favor hybrid population. One example is rapid turnover of available environment types, like the historical fluctuation of water level in Lake Malawi, a situation that generally favors speciation. A similar situation can be found where closely related species occupy a chain of islands. This will allow any present hybrid population to move into a new unoccupied habitat, into 
a new unoccupied habitats, <clears throat> avoiding direct competition with parent species and giving a hybrid population time and space to establish. Genetics of hybridization. Many agricultural crops are hybrids with double or even triple chromosome sets. Having multiple sets of chromosomes is called polyploidy or polyploidity. Polyploidy is usually fatal in animals where extra chromosome sets upset fetal development but is often found in plants. A form of hybrid speciation that is relatively common in plants occur when an infertile hybrid becomes fertile after doubling of the chromosome number. Hybridization without change in chromosome number is called homoploid. Hybrid speciation. This is the situation found in most animal hybrids. For a hybrid to be viable, the chromosomes of the two organisms will have to be very similar, i.e. the parent species must be closely related or the difference in chromosome arrangement will make mitosis problematic. With polyploid hybridization, this constraint is less acute. Supernumerary chromosomes, chromosome numbers can be unstable, which can lead to instability in the genetics of the hybrid. The European edible frog appears to be a species, but is actually tri triploid semi-permanent hybrid between pool frogs and marsh frogs. In most populations, the edible frog population is dependent on the presence of at least one of the parent species to be maintained as each individual needs two gene sets from one parent species and one from the other. Also, the male sex determination gene in the hybrids is only found in the genome of the pool frog, further undermining stability. Such instability can also lead to rapid reduction of chromosome numbers, creating reproductive barriers and thus allowing uh, speciation. Known cases of hybrid speciation animals. Hybrid speciation in animals is primarily homoploid. While not very common, a few animal species have been recognized as being the result of hybridization, mostly insects and fish. The Lenocera fly is an example of a novel animal species that resulted from natural hybridization. The great Skua has a surprising genetic similarity to the physical dis dissimilar Pomerine Skua and most on ornithol this is where most of the reading gets crazy. Ornithologists now assume the great Skua is a hybrid species between the Pomerine skua and one of the northern skua species. Rapidly diverging species can sometimes form multiple hybrid species, giving rise to a species complex like several physical divergent like several physically divergent by closely related genera of chiclid fishes in Lake Malawi. Malawi. While hybrid species generally appear rare in mammals, the Ameri American red wolf too appear to have a hybrid species of 
Canis species complex between gray wolf and coyote. This is also hypothesized to have led to the species rich Heliconius butterflies, though the conclusion has been criticized. Plants. With plants being more tolerant of polyploidity, hybrid species are more common in plants than in animals. Estimates indicate as much as 2 to 4 percent of all flowering plants and 7 percent of all fern species are the result of polyploid hybridization. Many of the crop species are hybrids and hybridization is an important factor in speciation in some plant groups. Hybrids of the flower genus Sixifraga or Fraga is commonly used in gardening and a tetraploid natural hybrid Saxifraga isloenus is estimated to have formed at the end of the last ice age. Homoploid speciation has given rise to several species of sunflower. Well, I have some messages from my niece and an old friend and they popped up in the middle of the video and I apologize for that and if they watch this video and seen that I put them down and ignored them for a little bit I apologize to them. I'm going to try to switch my uh, video to my ending tab and our text not text but ending video and get this done so that I can check out what's going on there I hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did please uh, let, let us know this is brought to you by Mario on Facebook. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank <laughs> you.